Hello, and welcome to Historic Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in the heart of downtown San Jose. I'm Dean Julia, and I'm here with another short take for your prayer and pondering this week. You know, Mother's Day is still more than a week away, but in pondering the faithful lives of saints, as I like to do, there's really no better way to honor the ministry of mothers than to remember women whose mothering nurtured the spiritual lives of faithful children. This week, the Episcopal Church honors St. Monica, mother of Augustine of Hippo, the most prominent philosopher and theologian of the early Western Church. Born into a Christian family sometime around 330 um, AD in North Africa, Monica married a reputedly quite temperamental and pagan husband. Monica nevertheless kept up her steady visual of prayer for her husband and her sometimes wayward children, in particular for her brilliant older son, Augustine, who was both a scholar and kind of a libertine. At one point, his misbehavior led Monica to refuse him a place to live. Perhaps she was practicing a fourth century version of tough love, but a vision caused her to change her mind. Convinced that Augustine would return to the faith, she obstinately followed him around his university studies in Europe until he did indeed embrace the faith of his mother. What we know of St. Monica comes primarily from her famous, famous son's autobiography that included her. It's a, a bit of a humorous narrative, alternating between her tough love and her helicopter parenting. But most of all, it's a tale of a mother who had faith in her child's promise. She prayed, persisted, and never gave up believing in the possibility that God would empower her son to change the world.